Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are once again taking a look at Tropical Depression 11, which should become Tropical Storm Josephine. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, I'd also ask that you check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. That's also where you can find our very exciting Discord server and Facebook group communities. Now for today's comment of the day, I want to know how many more named storms, including Josephine, if you think this one will become Josephine, do you think we will see throughout the month of August before September starts? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. All right, now let's get into this video and we're taking a look at our current satellite imagery. And to be honest, this storm does look a lot better than it did as of yesterday morning. It's done a lot of uh, good development overnight. Last night, maybe around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., it was not looking so hot, but as of this morning, it has kind of resurged a little bit, I would say, uh, and it does look quite a bit better than it did as of yesterday, late evening into the night hours. All right, now this storm has very tall clouds. It seems to be developing quite nicely, so my bet would be we're, we probably have about a 75% chance of seeing a tropical storm Josephine throughout the day today before nightfall tonight, but there is still a chance that it kind of struggles a bit, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and the next thing we're going to look at is Noah's cone forecast for this one. All right, now here we are taking a look at Noah's cone forecast, and as you can see, their expectations are that this one will be a tropical storm throughout the day today as well. You can see by the 2 p.m. update, they do expect it to be a tropical storm. Although they did expect it to become a tropical storm yesterday, and that did not occur. So we still understand that there is a slim chance this one does not become Josephine, really. But it does seem extremely likely at this point that it will eventually become our tropical storm, Josephine. Now, if you notice the track here, it does begin to curve here around... I would say later in the day on Monday, it's going to start a northward curve, according to them. There is still a chance that it continues more westerly than expected towards the United States, but like I've been saying for days and days and days now, I do definitely expect this one to curve kind of out to sea. I think there's probably a 75% chance that this one curves somewhere between Bermuda and the East Coast, not really impacting the East Coast, just because of the high pressure system that is set in place though these things can change and i do accept that there is a chance that we will see the east coast be impacted directly from this storm even if it survives because that's not guaranteed either all right now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to start talking about the things that could hold this storm back the shear the dry air and then we're going to get into the spaghetti models and things of that nature All right, so here we are taking a look at our shear, and the thing I was looking at this morning that kind of had my attention, as you can see our storm there, it's the white dot there in the green yellow area, kind of towards the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And it's heading in a northwesterly direction. Uh, there is a little bit of a opening here that is beginning to display itself. If you look at Puerto Rico and just north of Haiti and uh, Dominican Republic, you can see there is a little bit of a yellow area in there. If that continues to move eastward and maybe our storm will move straight through that little pathway, that would be interesting and it would definitely help this storm not break up as bad, which would be kind of an interesting solution and uh, would be very uh, odd to say the least considering how thin of an opening that is. Also, taking a look at our dry air, as you can see, uh, it's really breaking up. We have less and less dry air. The dry air is kind of dissipating. And first off, this is bad news for this storm because it's going to have an easier time getting through this little patch of dry air because there's only a little bit of yellows and oranges. And it seems to be a very doing a very nice job fighting it off. And not to mention, we see a lot of uh, activity there just offshore of Africa to the southeast of our current storm we're talking about. Those could potentially become our next invests in the coming days, so we're going to need to watch that very closely. Those disturbances in there seem to be doing quite nicely uh, against the dry air as well. So that's going to be interesting to track moving forward as well with this storm. So the two impacts, not really sure how, how well they will be able to break up our storm here. It seems like it will be able to get through this, no problem. Uh, it had dry air in, infiltrating it beforehand, and it kind of broke up a little bit, but it's come back and it's a fighter. So we'll have to see how it does moving forward. There is some more orangish shades in there that are going to be a little bit tougher for it to move through. Obviously, we know it's moving in a northwesterly direction, but I think it could survive for sure. And that's definitely what Noah's thinking as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and take a look at our spaghetti model guidance. 
All right, now here we are taking a look at our spaghetti models. And as you can see, they kind of are split down the middle. We see those ones curving northward towards Bermuda and anything in between. And then we see those bottom ones that kind of take it towards the Caribbean and more towards the East Coast. Uh, and anything in between is possible at this point. Uh, again, a curvature in between Bermuda and the East Coast is most likely at this point, possibly even hitting Bermuda. However, there is still those outliers that keep it further south, keep the high pressure system to the north stronger and shove the storm to where it has to go into the Bahamas and towards the East Coast. That would be an interesting solution and definitely a more impactful solution. So we have to keep our fingers crossed that this one kind of curves in between anywhere in between Bermuda and the East Coast, not really impacting land. Now, here's your GEFS model, your GFS ensemble model, and this one keeps it curving out to sea. Like I said before, there's a couple members down there to the very south that kind of want to track it towards the mid-Atlantic, uh, but really I think those, those will probably curve before they hit land as well. But we see most of these curving pretty well offshore, and what's kind of interesting is we're seeing them kind of want to do a loop-de-loop -loop and bring it back around, heading south and maybe uh, west again. That would be interesting. We've seen this happen before, and it can create some issues uh, as well. And then here's our Canadian ensemble model, last but not least. And this one kind of looks the same as it did yesterday. We see it curving very well offshore, but developing into a very strong storm, potentially even a hurricane, but well offshore of anywhere in North America. All right, now let's go ahead and look at that intensity guidance. And as you can see, we do expect this one to most likely become a tropical storm within the next 24 hours, uh, potentially a moderate tropical storm within the next 36 hours, and then kind of drop off a little bit after that point, potentially still remaining a tropical storm, but also a majority of the models have this one dropping out of tropical storm status within the next three days back to kind of a tropical depression, maybe just a uh, invest or a post-tropical system, uh, and then maybe returning to tropical status. There's a lot of question marks in the, in the far future, but within the next three days, it's pretty clear we're going to remain... Uh, under a tropical storm, most likely become a tropical storm and then drop back out of tropical storm status all within the next three days of this storm's lifetime. There is about three models there. That UKX uh, I model there still has this one doing a very rapid drop off and then kind of doing sp some sporadic things. I'm not taking that model too seriously because it seems to have some issues. Though we have two models that keep us just under tropical storm status here, that red and orange one there, which might be uh, correct. So again, like I said earlier, there is a slim chance that this one just does not become a tropical storm at all. Although I do expect it to most likely become tropical storm Josephine. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and take a look at our direct weather forecast for this one. And then we're going to get into our comment of the day and our patron highlight of the day. All right. Now here we are taking a look at our direct weather map here for this tropical system. As you can see, uh, we have a wider cone than what NOAA does, and I usually do that because I know that these storms are very hard to predict, and they can do some things that are not expected. I always like to keep it wider rather than thinner, just keep all the options open. Now, you'll notice that it is generally going to head northwestward, north of Puerto Rico, uh, and north of Haiti and Dominican Republic, and most likely north of the Bahamas, though I do see a very slim chance that it kind of uh, heads further south right there at the very end of this cone. But it's going to most likely take a curve northward, whether it's heading towards the east coast or just offshore of the east coast, or potentially takes that curve way earlier and heads up north towards Bermuda. And again, anywhere in between is also possible with this system. So there's a lot of things that can happen with Tropical Depression 11 uh, in possibly going to become Tropical Storm Josephine. Again, uh, I wanted to mention there is those waves behind it. I do expect within the next week, we're going to have some more tropical invests heading offshore of Africa, most likely taking a similar track here. We usually see storms follow the storm, you know, like for instance, Tropical Depression 11, probably the storms behind it are going to reach similar patterns and similar conditions. So they'll probably do pretty similar things. That's what we saw with Gonzalo and with Isaias. They took practically the same track early on, uh, though the pattern kind of switched up once they reached the Caribbean. Obviously, Gonzalo went south into South America. Uh, Isaias went way further north, but they followed the same track from Africa all the way to the Leeward Islands, basically. So we might see similar southern, I would say southern main development region tracks there. Uh, this is actually the third one that's done that, and now it's going to take kind of an Isaias track, probably going to curve Again, far offshore of the East Coast, however. Now, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, when do you think our next tropical named storm will be after this one, if this one becomes Josephine? And Falcon, Falcon Doip, is that how you say that? 
said August 21st. Oddly specific, but I appreciate the boldness there for that. Now, for our patron highlights of the day, uh, we haven't added any names, but shout out to our Diamond patrons, Madbirds and Mark J, and also our Platinum patron, Donna Carnes. Thank you so much for becoming patrons, and if you would like to support the channel and become a patron, you can check that out in the description or the pinned comment down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.